solar and PV system on ethanite and shingle roofs. This is how it works. My name is Bernhard Schagerl. I am the owner of solarblech.shop and I will now show you how to perform a mounting of lag screws with my solar sheets. For example, here is a rhombus ethane roof covered in 1992, no longer containing asbestos. In order to find the rafters, it is recommended to open up the ridge and carefully mark the positions of the rafters using their natural dimensions. This method ensures accurate placement and alignment. By opening the ridge, you can easily access the rafters and make precise markings. Taking into account the actual size of the rafters is crucial for a successful installation and proper structural support. The rafter is struck down in the center with a chalk line. The subsequent step is to mark the roof battens. These can be found with relative ease by using a new plate and measuring the positions of the nails. This task can be easily accomplished by using a fresh plate and determining the locations of the nails. By doing so, you will be able to accurately mark the roof battens for further steps in the process. It is important to note that this step is crucial in ensuring the proper installation of the roof battens and the overall success of the project. The roof batten runs in this location. The drilling process is carried out directly above the transverse roof bed. The drill diameter must be 4 mm larger than the lag screw diameter. For 10 mm lag screws, a 14 mm bit for iron or tile drilling is the most suitable choice. It is recommended to pre-drill before proceeding. In this specific case, it is advisable to use a 7 mm drill bit for the drilling process. And only pierce the roof skin. The chip must be pre-drilled separately once more. Now the rafter is pre-drilled, depending on the diameter of the lag screw. For lag screws with a diameter of 10 mm, it is recommended to use a drill bit with a diameter of 7 mm, and for lag screws with a diameter of 12 mm, it is advisable to use a drill bit with a diameter of 8.5 mm for optimal results. Now the solar sheet can already be inserted. Before that, a seal still needs to be glued on the underside, Currently, the sheet metal is inserted and positioned in a nice and precise manner, ensuring it is perfectly centered and aligned in a straight line. Now you can already insert the lag screws, preferably using a powerful drill or a ratchet wrench. The thread, made of wood, is an important component of our asparagus. It adds a rustic charm and enhances the overall culinary experience with its durability and natural beauty. Now the lower seal is screwed onto the threaded rods. The screw seal designed for the stock should fit nicely and securely over the embossing on the surface, ensuring a tight and reliable seal for the stock. Don't tighten too tightly. Now, depending on the system, an angle or an adapter plate is attached to mount the rails on it. The selection of either the angle or the adapter plate is based on the specific requirements of the system. The angle offers a direct mounting option, while the adapter plate provides flexibility in positioning. Both options ensure a secure attachment of the rails to the system. Roof tiles inevitably break during construction. You can easily replace them on your own. Using this nail iron, the nails of the roof panels are carefully searched for and identified. The iron is designed to efficiently locate and detect the nails embedded in the panels. By using this tool, the process of finding and inspecting the nails becomes easier and more effective. It ensures that all the nails are thoroughly examined, contributing to the overall quality and durability of the roof structure. Each plate is fastened with two nails. The new plate is cut at two places, exactly where three plates are stacked on top of each other, and only the top two are cut by edging. You can also sketch that relatively easily.
This is the area where three plates are stacked on top, with rivets placed exactly. Subtitle of the Amargo.